Hey, you guys, welcome to another Sunday. I cannot believe it's already Sunday. I mean, I kind of can because it's been the longest week ever, but on the other breath, I'm like, I woke up this morning, I was like, oh crap, today's Sunday. <laughs> so not ready for today. So I thought this, this makeup tutorial today would be appropriate for what's going on. I'm calling it the hot mess mom tutorial <laughs> because let's face it, a lot of us moms, we just don't have time to do a lot of stuff. So that's how my week has been. I've literally been up since four o'clock this morning um because my daughter's not sleeping very much so i'm gonna get right into the makeup and then i'll tell you all of that as i do it because i know some of you are here just for the makeup you want to get some good tips which i will try to do for you today so hey jenny hey sandra hey amy hi lucy how are you guys doing happy sunday it is officially november it is Time for Christmas decorations. I have a lot of my friends and family already put theirs up. I'm like, man, I'm not, I'm so behind this year. <laughs> Hi, Floor. Hi, Jean from the UK. <laughs> okay. I didn't even get a chance today to, to uh, do a post to let you guys know I was still doing the live. So as until you hear from me, I'm definitely trying to keep doing these every Sunday at noon. Okay, so I did not have time to do my hair or my face, so I did wash it. I just barely showered today. <laughs> We're keeping it real, real here on the lives. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Okay, so what I did, washed my face with the cleanser. You guys know I love this brand. It's an indie brand, it's woman owned. I'm really proud of this um, this line. It's really good stuff. So that's what I washed my face with. And then Paula's Choice has this um, replenishing toner because I'm really, really dry. So that's what I just put on. And then all I'm going to do is put on moisturizer. So I'm going to keep it, my skincare has been really, really simple these days. I'm going to use the um, Elemis Pro Collagen moisturizer. It is pricey. I will, I will say that it is a splurge moisturizer. Um, so I try to go a little less expensive on some of the other stuff so I can get this because it's really, really good. Um, it is my favorite, one of my favorites. So I'm gonna put that down here. And then if I have anything left over from my face, I put it on the back of my hands just to keep my hands youthful, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, we're doing mom makeup today. This is the makeup routine. If you do not have time, you're a hot mess like I am today. This is what I've been doing. I'm lucky to you know get any makeup on at all. Okay. I've done this technique a few times with this brush, but I do this a lot because it's so, so fast and so easy. So what I do is I take a stiff brush like this. I'm going to go in with a dropper foundation, something really pigmented. You guys know I like the Dermablend one. I will try to find another foundation, so I mix it up a little. But do I have, I have one earring on. Hot mess. I forgot to put the other earring on. <laughs> really staying on brand here with this theme today there we go all right i've got my brush i've got my foundation i think first i'm gonna need to hide these eye bags i've been up since four this morning because my daughter wakes up every two hours now she's six months and we still are lucky to get four hours in a night someone please give me tips please help i'm dying at this point you guys i'm dying <laughs> Um, the brushes are coming out probably right after the new year. Um, I know a lot of you guys were asking, so Magical Mastermind says the Kosas foundation is excellent. What kind of finish does it have? Is it dewy? Is it matte finish? Um, is it full coverage? I would like to know these things. I'm just going to take a peach corrector. You guys can use a lipstick. You can use just a plain concealer. I have got to cover these eye bags. I have to. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this under here and I still ever since I had the baby and got pregnant I still have these um spots that I never really fully went away so I'm gonna kind of cover a little bit with some concealer and then that's it so we don't have a lot of time usually by now she's crying so I'm like well I had concealer and that was it <laughs> I'm not trying to sound like I'm complaining you guys I promise I'm not I love my daughter so much like we we prayed we waited we tried we did a lot of things to uh have her and I love her so much but I'm tired you guys I'm so tired <laughs> okay so I am buffing this in that's why I like this type of foundation because it's so fast you're literally just you're like I'm coming I'm coming <laughs> it's just super fast super easy 
I'm going to take my time a little bit today just so I can show you guys stuff and talk in between. But normally I can get a full kind of makeup routine in about eight to 10 minutes if I really hustle. <laughs> Best eyelashes for almond eyes. Demi Wispies by Ardell. The Makeup Geek Mischievous ones that are at Target. Those are really good. So I would say those two. Uh, SJF says, my husband and I are adopting. That will be amazing. That's what my husband and I were going to do. Literally, we were already researching. We still think we might because we want more kids, and I don't know if I could have more. So we might be adopting too. So we're kind of researching it right now. But 2020 is crazy, so we're like, let's look into that next year. <laughs> I'm going to do just a little bit more. I need a little bit more coverage in here. Just like that. How has your skin been since you gave birth? Jean is asking. Notice major difference. I have. Um, my skin during second and third trimesters was amazing. It was so smooth, so flawless. I, it was probably the best I've ever had my skin. And I was like, sweet. And then after I gave birth, it all went to shiznit. So it's not bad. It's still dry. So that's kind of the issues I'm having. My um, spots that I had, I forget what they call them. It's like the little coffee ground spots that some pregnant women get. I had that. It went away for the most part, um, but there's still a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put a little bit on my chest. I know I'm kind of can't see, but I'm putting some down here because I've got some stuff going on down here, too. And I don't. I hate not having my um, neck and chest not match my foundation. Okay. While we're doing that, we're going to put on some um, lip oil. We're going to just treat the lips. So I'm going to, whoop, there goes my curling iron. Let's find some oil. So I like doing this to keep my lips moisturized, especially as we have mask on. It's getting into winter. The skin's dry. I like, um, hi, Christina from Egypt. I like putting the oil on to really hydrate the lips. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna do just a little bronzing, contouring, but we're gonna do it super easy. So I'm gonna take the Fenty stick, the mocha one. You guys know I use this a lot, so I know you're probably like, again, Marlena, but it's really good. <laughs> um, Giselle's asking, what is the best foundation for acne prone skin? To be honest, I'm not truly sure. I would just make sure to find the cleanest ingredient one. Um, I mean, I break out pretty easily. I haven't had um, problems with the Dermablend. I also like, let me give you some, um, let me show you which one it is. Where did it go? Not that one. This one by Milani. It's a matte finish one. This one's pretty good. I haven't had any breakouts from that too. So hopefully you guys can talk here in the comments if anyone has recommendations for acne friendly foundations. Okay, I know this looks really dark on camera. I mean, it does in real life too, <laughs> but I'm going to blend it out. But this is so fast, so easy. I'm telling you guys, I know I'm sitting here chatting, but this is really, really fast when I'm in a hurry. Because we ain't got time anymore. Lucky to get, lucky to eat a full breakfast and get a shower in. <laughs> okay, so I'm buffing this. If you guys have a smaller forehead than me, you don't need to do that step. If you want good contouring tips, you can look at my video from last week. I did a lot of um, pretty much advanced contouring showing you for different face shapes. So that's still up. Okay. Do you see how easy that is? I know everyone thinks that powders is so much better. It's so fast or it's honestly not because with creams, you can really buff it and blend it quickly. And I feel like it's less hassle. Um, so I've, I've really come to love creams. Okay, I just take my foundation brush and kind of soften it because I don't want a super harsh contoured look. I want it to be soft and blended a little bit. Okay, now we can set with just a little bit of powder. Um, what was the concealer under your eyes? It was actually Makeup Geek Prototype one. I'm hoping to launch in the near future. Long story on that. But um, Bobbi Brown has a good one and so does Eve Pearl. Those are two that I really like. Someone said NYX has a good one too. Okay, I'm just taking some loose powder. This is by Becca Cosmetics. I'm just doing a little tiny bit. I don't want too much. And I'm just going to pat it under here. And that's it. My skin's dry, so I don't put a lot on there. Okay, right there. 
Jean's asking, how long does your makeup last under a mask? I've had mine, I don't wear masks a ton because I don't go out a lot. When I do, it's usually grocery shopping or running to Target. So I would say like at most I'm out for a few hours and then it lasts at home for another three hours um, without the mask. I think it just wears off a little bit in here. My eyes last all day long, so I'm not too, usually too worried about that. So it's pretty, pretty good. Okay, we're going to do some blush. Pick whatever blush that you guys like. I'm going to actually use a Tom Ford one today. I don't know if they still sell this. I've had this for a little bit. It's Inhibition. It's really, really pretty. I like to just take um, a angled brush like that. This is a Makeup Geek brush. I'm hoping we can restock soon. I think we sold out. And I feel like, especially as we get older, that it's really important to wear some blush because it really adds warmth and it adds um, some color to the skin. So I feel like I'm not as washed out. So I'm really liking adding blush now. And I like to apply it just on top of the cheekbones. And then if you feel like you need some glow, you can take an eyeshadow. I'm actually going to use, um, let's try this. So I put together a palette I was going to show you guys today. Um, so I was going to use this shade here. It's Starry Eye. You can just take that same concealer that I did, um, the same brush I did the concealer with. Just a dome-shaped brush one like this works really, really well. You can go in with a foiled eyeshadow. So you guys don't have to spend a ton of money on a highlighter. You can use eyeshadows. So that's why I like these, the foiled shadows. And then I'll show you a trick um, if you wanted to get it creamy. I don't know what that was. <laughs> We're going to ignore that. Do you see the highlight there? Looks like highlighter, but not as expensive. Because we got to save money as moms because it's 2020, let's face it. And we have a lot of diapers to be buying. So I don't have time to be, I'm not going to be wasting money on highlighters. <laughs> so there's that. If you feel it's too harsh, my favorite trick ever, you all, is to take a um, drop of foundation with your sponge. So I just take a drop of this. I pick it up here. And you're going to dab this on top of your um, highlighter and it's going to make it look more creamy dewy versus highlightery. Do you guys see the difference between the two? Well, let me pat it in a little bit more. Okay, so I put a little foundation on top. Creamy, still glowy, highlightery. You see the difference between the two? So all you have to do, we're, I'm saving you money, you don't have to get a cream highlighter. You can use that extra money and get a very, very strong coffee. Mama needs it. <laughs> okay, so same thing. I'm going to do this side too because I am not feeling the highlighter look. So Heather said she used Shimmer Shimmer as a highlighter yesterday. Isn't it pretty? You don't have to spend a ton of money when you literally can just use eyeshadows. I really like how that looks. It's very fresh, very dewy, very nice. Okay, we're going to do the brows just bust them out because I don't like doing brows. So, you know, it's the least favorite part of my routine. <laughs> so let's do, I use sometimes um, the Stila pen and um, the other times I do the, um, the benefit brow, the give me brow. I really like this one. This is number 3.75. It's pretty dark. My brows are always a hot mess, but I have to do them. I have, um, do you guys see, I have the microblading there. It's gone. I should have them touched up earlier this actually last year, but I couldn't because I was pregnant and then COVID hit. So social distancing. So my brows have been like, wah, wah. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it work. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do lines like this, just like that. And I'm going to color in under here, just like that. I'm not gonna do them too, too harsh. My brows are really, really thin, so I can't, um, I can't do that very trendy, um, like feathered up and all of that stuff, so I just fill them in the best that I can, just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna do this side. I saw your comment, Britt Clark. I'll, I'm gonna um, 
take care of that here in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this in. There we go there. And just like that. Super easy. And then I'm gonna show you guys really quick a, a trick to get your brows to stand up. Um, to fit that um, style where it's just brows going fluffy. Sorry, this takes a quick second to do brows because mine are horrible. So yeah, <laughs> just like that. Okay, so now if you guys want to make them fluffy, all you have to do is get some chapstick. I've done this a couple times before. You take a spoolie and you're just going to just like that. Britt's saying, I love take for granted for my brows. Oh, I haven't thought of trying that. Yeah, you guys can use your eyeshadows for your brows too. So do, 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 like that. So I like using the um, chapstick to get my brows to look a little bit more fluffy. I mean, they're not perfect because my brows are not my, not my favorite part. So we make them work. <laughs> okay. My go-to makeup now for very quick mom in a hurry type thing is doing one color, one spot. So what I've been doing, I've been using, um, is this Wayne Grouse's brush? I really like his um, smaller brush here. I think it's a really, really good brush. So I like that one, that's number 20. So shout out to Wayne. Um, and then also his other one is 26S. I really, really like those two. So those are great shape brushes. Do you see the difference? This one's a little bit thicker. This one's a little bit smaller. So Summer's asking, do you find as a new mom, you wear the same amount of makeup as before? I don't. I actually most days don't wear makeup at all. I'll just put on a little mascara, a little concealer. But if I'm going out and I still want to feel put together, I'll do this look where I'll just, you know, scrub on some foundation, brows, little cheek stuff, and then I'll put mascara on and that's it. Um, and then I'll do one shadow if I have a couple extra minutes and my daughter's entertained that I can do another eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so I was having fun this week, you guys, with colors, putting them together. And I took my matrix system, you know, because it looks like this. So anyone who knew, who is new to Makeup Geek or new to my channel, I have these palettes that are um, customizable. So you could pick out your, you could put your own palettes together, but they look like this, called the matrix system. Has pretty much any color that you could think you would need. There's a neutral one going from light to dark and then you have the colorful one. So what I did is I put um, I put some together and I really like this color combination. Isn't this pretty? So I did a range of purples in here, some grays, some cool browns, and then I did some foils and I added a pop of green with that Illuminati. Um, so I really, really like that. So if you guys want a video on how to put together a bunch of palettes and show you different color stories, I can do that if you want. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, enough blabbing. I'm going to take my Wayne Goss brush, number 26S. I'm going in with this purple color here. This has been my go-to. It's called Current Obsession. <laughs> Currently obsessed with it. <laughs> so I'm taking it on that brush. And I'm gonna pick one spot to do it. Oh, forgot really quick, you guys, hold on. I need to set the eyes with powder. If you don't, put powder down um, on top because I put foundation on my eyelids. If you don't put a base powder down, sometimes the shadows don't blend as easily. So if you guys are having issues with your eyeshadows being patchy, they stick, they're not blending as well, it may be that you need to put a base down. So I always, always, always take that same concealer brush and I take one of the light colors that's close to my skin. If you have deeper skin, these may be too light. It would go somewhere up in here. Creme brulee, even honey badger would be good. And you're just going to set the eyes. And this really, really helps your um, shadow to blend a lot easier. So just like that. Okay. And I'll make sure to answer a lot of questions at the end, you guys, too, just so I make sure those who want just the makeup part, I'm not holding you up. Okay. So I've got my current obsession shadow, my purple. I'm going to put it just on the outer part of the eye. So I'm going to put it out here. And this is so therapeutic. If I if I have quiet to myself, then this is what I do. I it's 
therapy for me to just sit here and blend this one shadow. I know this sounds so crazy, but just looking at the color is so pretty here and I'm just like, <laughs> if it's nighttime, a glass of wine, if it's in the morning, a nice strong coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do any moms out there hide out in the bathroom for 15 minutes just to get quiet? No, just me. <laughs> my husband picked up on it. He was like, he's like, I know you're hiding out in the bathroom to get some quiet. I was like, damn it. <laughs> uh And even then, I don't get quiet because then if the baby, you know, I make sure someone's with her. Obviously, I don't leave her alone. The dogs are scratching at the door. If I don't shut the door because our doors stick a little bit, they'll push through. And I'm like literally sitting on the toilet and here comes both dogs like wondering what's up. It's just like, really? <laughs> Camel says, I hide out for 15 eats to eat my own snack without someone testing it. I did. I'm not going to lie. I sat in my... <laughs> I went out in the garage and I sat in the car and I just, I had my coffee and I just, I sat in there <laughs> and then, until everyone's looking up from like, where's mom at? I'm like, mm, where'd you go? I had, to, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, husband's like, what are you doing out here? <laughs> when he finally did, he found me because I did that a couple times too. And he's like, uh, really? You hiding out here too? We're like, yep. Wherever I got to go. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm putting current obsession out here. And literally, you guys, that that would be a complete look. If I didn't have time to do much more than that, then I could stop there. And that would be really nice. Just like that. Do, do, do. If you have an extra moment and you want to go further than that, what you can do is just take the same brush. I, I'm honestly going to use the same brush throughout this whole tutorial because like I said, I want to keep it easy. I want it to be not costly at all. I would just go in with a lighter color. So here's the purple I did current obsession down here is um, blushing beauty. It's just a blush pink color. And I'm, I just keep it out here. I'm not going to go in. I want the lid to be blank. And then I'll give you another option. Honestly, that's usually where I stop and then I put mascara on and call it a day. I'm gonna show you one more step to show you if you have the time. So just up here. Do you see how easy it is? It's just a nice pop of color. So I'm able to pull off a nice purple without feeling like it's just too much or too crazy. And I feel like because you guys see where the shadow is at, up here in the corner, it almost lifts my eyes up and it makes them look more awake because we all know moms need to look awake because we're tired. <laughs> I'm going to touch up the purple just a little bit more. <laughs> Vero's saying whenever I would hide, they would find me. I know. They caught on. <laughs> right before we moved, we had a, um, uh, a guest, I guess a garage, I guess you could say. There was like a little tiny space above it. We never really used it. it. We never literally went up there. It was like, it was like a storage unit for us, basically. And I got so desperate one time I went up there and was literally hiding out and they still found me. I was like, how, how the heck did you guys find me? I'm not even in the same house. I'm like outside somewhere and you guys still found me. My husband comes in and I was like, okay, you know, I'll hang out with you. And then nope, sure enough, the dogs come to you and the whole gang is just in there like, what's going on? What are you doing? Why are you hiding from us? <laughs> okay, last color. This is an optional. I would stop here. But if you want to add a little bit of color, you can. Um, I do this pop of green. This is Illuminati. I wore this look yesterday on my Instagram, but I didn't show you guys how to do it. So isn't that pretty? This is one of my favorite foils because it's just... It's just a pretty color. It looks great on everyone. I just take that little tiny brush and I put this on the inner um, corner and you can just pop it here. I'm not gonna do a ton. Yet in yesterday's look, I came up here a little bit further, but um, I just want a little tiny pop here, just like that. And I keep the lid blank and that's super easy. I'm not doing anything underneath. I'm just keeping it super super efficient okay the last bit this is optional as well if you have time that's why i like looks like this because at any point if your 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 children start screaming all hell breaks loose um you can stop and just go and it'll still look okay it doesn't look like an incomplete look if you know what i mean 
<laughs> so we're just I'm like, oh, not crying yet. We're going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to, <laughs> Allison says my son turns 13 on Wednesday. I'm already feeling tired, girl. I feel you. I, 13? I have 13 more years and I'm still going to be tired. <laughs> uh, you were supposed to tell me like, no, Marlena, any time now she'll sleep through the night. You'll be great. You'll be feeling amazing. You'll sleep like a hibernating grizzly bear. Life will be great. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to do a baby wing because I like the more simple looks. And do you see how that just lifts it too? And it makes my lashes look a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna do this side. I just do about halfway. I start around here. And then I just come up and I do, I do the baby wing. I feel like I can't pull off the full dramatic wing anymore. I'm like, well, it is what it is. We're gonna do the baby one. But even just that little tail there really lifts the eyes. So if you guys are like, oh, we really want my eyes to be lifted or have hooded eyes. I get that a lot of how to do wing liner for hooded eyes. This would be it because it's a smaller wing. So it'll still give you that kind of effect of being lifted, but it won't be the super dramatic one that will cut into the hooded area. So not super easy there. And then we'll just curl the lashes and put on mascara. Super easy. Okay. Oh, sometimes they're just like, okay. I filmed a really cool calming tutorial for you guys. I'm um, getting that edited now. I'm so excited for these because I think they're going to be really um, different, especially how I have it planned out. Um, so I'm hoping that will go up in a couple weeks. And then also the advanced class. Um, if you guys have signed up for that, that's going to go live here this afternoon. Um, I'm just a couple hours late again because this week was a hot mess. So it is my fault. I'm so sorry. Um, but that is going up really, really shortly. It's actually uploading now. Um, but that has the um, course book that you guys get with that. So all the information is on the Make a Geek site. I'm not trying to pimp it out. But if you guys do want actual education courses that are like, with a syllabus, there's a quiz, there's a PDF, there's text, like it's an actual portal where you go in as a student and you learn a class. Um, those are on the Makeup Geek site. There's three levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So those are up on there too. So the advanced one goes live today, woo. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back to my carbon black. Actually, no, let's do the Marc Jacob one. Do I have it? I don't, we're gonna do L'Oreal. It is the best drugstore mascara out there. Cause again, we have diapers to be buying, baby food's expensive. So $7. No, actually I think it, they raised it to nine. Okay, so JJ, you'll sign up for the beginner's class on the Makeup Geek site. If you go to the top bar of the Makeup Geek site, it says master classes, it's right there. So there's afterpay if you guys need, cause I, we're trying to be really, really mindful of this year's just has been brutal for everyone. I'm ready for, I keep saying I'm ready for 2021. I'm like, but is it going to be any different? I don't know. Like we don't have a vaccine. COVID's still here. The world's still like falling apart. So I don't know, 2021, I used to, you know, be like, yes, new year, new me. And this year I'm like, new year, we'll see. <laughs> Should be the motto for 2021, new year, we'll see. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom lashes. Do you guys see how great this mascara is? There's another one that's gonna be launching very soon that's pretty good too. <laughs> I'll let you know more about that when it comes out. It is in route as we speak. Okay, so I'm gonna do that on this eye. And I'm just keeping it super, super easy. And then honestly for lips, because I'm wearing the mask, I haven't been wearing anything, but if I want to be fancy, I've been doing the line lip method where I'm just lining the lips and keeping everything else super easy. If you guys notice that uh, the 90s trend of the overlined, like the dark lined lips um, is back, I feel like I've seen that a lot. Okay. That's lady, lady snoring. Cause I never, I'm never by myself. <laughs> Put this in here. Okay, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do for the lips. There we go. Yep, okay. Look how pretty that is. And it's so easy, it's soft, it's wearable. It didn't take a lot of time. 
really, really easy. And I like those color um, colors together, the green and the purple. Okay, lips. So I've been doing the lined lips lately and the one I'm obsessed with, I absolutely love it, is the Makeup Forever one. I think I used this in a tutorial a couple weeks ago. Um, so it is Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This is Versatile Chestnut. This has kind of been my go-to color. So what I've been doing, my lips are nice and hydrated because we put that oil down. And then I'm just gonna line it here, just like that. And then I'm gonna put this one here. And you see how pretty that color is? And cause it's a pencil, I don't have to worry about it going anywhere, it kind of stays. Now this is pretty obvious, it's a little too dramatic for me, but I'll just feather it in a little bit like that. And I kind of use my fingers to, you know, blend it in. So that's been my go-to. I mean, if I wear lips. <laughs> like, why? Why bother? No one's going to see them. Like that. And that's the look. Pretty easy, huh? And I'm gonna put, um, you know what I'll do is I'll put a little oil back on too if I feel like my lips are still dry because it really, did you guys see how it soaked it up really good? So I just put a touch of that on and it kind of um, blends into the lip liner, but it's hydrating and all it is literally is oil. I custom made my own um, with, um, Rosehip oil and almond oil. You can use jojoba oil, anything that you guys have on hand that's, um, you know, obviously can be used on the face. So I wouldn't use coconut oil, but some of those other ones. Almond is my actual favorite. You can get it for like nine bucks on Amazon. It's really good. So that is that. All right, let's hang out. <laughs> uh, KR saying, uh, my daughter is almost three and I'm still a hot mess mama for sure. I'm hot. Do you guys see my hair? I didn't, I brushed it for you guys. I did put on a bra, so I hope you guys appreciate that, that the bra was on today for you all. Even though I know the ladies can't be seen, but I, the whole thought of it, I was like, you know, my peeps, I'm going to put on a bra just for them. So I did. I did that for you guys. <laughs> um, but the hair, I didn't, I had the iron plugged in and then stuff was happening and I didn't get a chance to. So this is the hair. We just tuck it and go. <laughs> Liberty's asking, oh, we can chat and hang out, you guys. That's the look there. So um, hold on, let me see. Oh, thanks so much, Kenny. Love how you blend your shadow. It's super easy, you guys. It's honestly it's just using a couple shadows. So, and any advice for a level one beauty course? I try, look at the description of the one on the Makeup Geek site. You'll it's the eyeshadow masterclass of the beginner course. So I'm gonna add more classes in the coming months. So the three that are up right now are just eyeshadows in the three levels. And then the next ones I'm going to do are face ones. So um, like advanced contouring, advanced bronzing, um, blushes for different face shapes. But for a beginner person, I would start with that beginner course in eyeshadows because it goes over like how to know what your eye shape is, what brushes to use, um, the introduction to color theory and all of that. So I think you might like that one. I don't know of other courses out there. So um, Elle is asking what liner did I use? I used the Benefit Roller Liner. Really like that one. That's probably one of my favorites. So, yeah, <laughs> Yvette's like, no bra over here or makeup. Girl, I feel you. I'm like, unless I'm going out, I'm like, I'm not putting a bra on. I feel like I'm like a prisoner in a cage. I'm like, I don't want to wear one. I hate bras. I wear them because it's socially, you know, looked upon if I don't. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Um, is the full eyeshadow course, uh, all three classes. That's yeah, that's the full eyeshadow course. Um, and then if you just want to take different levels, um, you could take just beginner, just an intermediate and so forth. So yeah, Courtney says, I excited. I I'm so excited to receive my two matrix palette. I've been waiting forever. Yay. Happy belated birthday, Courtney. <laughs> Brit saying bras are overrated. I know. I know. I just got some new ones cause I hadn't gotten any new ones since I got pregnant. And finally I was like, I have to get a new bra that's not like an old mom bra because that's what I had 
And uh, my husband's like, oh, you finally got a new bra? I was like, shut up. <laughs> but I got them from Lane Bryant. They were actually, they have some good styles there. I was pretty, I was pretty happy. <laughs> um, oh, so Liz is talking about, oh, you guys are talking about hair. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not ask, uh, not missing any questions. So I got three from Soma. I hit a growth spurt and they're too small, 150 down the drain. Try to sell them somewhere so that we don't lose money on them. Because dang, 150 bucks, you could get that back. I tried Soma's bras and I don't, they just didn't work for me. I want to, but the only ones that have worked for me have been Lane Bryant because I'm, I'm not a, I'm a beefy girl. We'll just say that. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, let me know if you guys have any other questions and such. Allison's saying, oh, she's in Spokane. It was snow. Oh, you guys had snow this morning? It's actually really pretty here in Seattle. Like it's sunny out. So I'm so excited. I'm going to take the baby for a walk and the dogs. We're going to get outside, get some fresh air because you guys know Seattle. When it rains, it's like nonstop rain for months on end. So when it's sunny, we're like, get outside. We have to go pack this stuff. We're like putting the baby in the cart, grabbing all of our shiznit and like going outside because I'm like, who knows when we'll get it next, get good weather next. Uh, uh, Andy says I use the word fluffy instead of beefy. That's actually better. I'm, I'm very fluffy and I need like I need like duct tape and some hardcore wires in my bra. I need those type of bras. So I just can't go like Victoria's Secret, lacy little bra. No, I need like hooks and wires and gears and like, you know, equipment to keep everything up. So that's what I mean. <laughs> um, will you list the eyeshadow palette colors you had in that last palette? Are you talking about this one here? Um, so Mug is out, you're asking if we're doing trichrome shadows. I do have, they're dual chrome. I don't know if we have trichrome ones, um, that I just approved this week too. So yeah, <laughs> Tracy's asking, did you, um, get enough votes for the la relaxing one? I did. So I think I'm going to do that. Well, I already filmed one, um, and it's going to go up in a couple weeks. I'm so excited because we got a drone. We got some really pretty shots of some nature and then I have some good music that's just super calming. I'm really, really excited about this series. We'll see if you guys like it. I'm going to do a few and see how they do. And if um, everyone likes them, I'll keep doing them. <clears throat> so um, I want to make sure I'm not uh, missing the question. She's asked about the shadows. So I'll list these really quick and you guys can keep asking um, questions. So it's Gimme Dirt, Mystical, um, Eternally Grateful Vintage. That one's um, Clean Slate. It's a gray. And then Illuminati, um, I'm sorry, take for granted. This one's Clean Slate. <clears throat> this one is Grandstand. And then, shoot, which is that one? Oh, that's Current Obsessions right here. And then this is Blushing Beauty, Daydreamer, Lavender Dreams, Starry Eyed, and then Prim and Proper. So it's pretty much all of like the pinky and the purple tones and then a pop of green and grays. And then just one brown with that gimme dirt. So there's the color story. If you guys want to try to find shadows that you have to create something like that, I really like that color story right now. So yes. <laughs> Are you going to have specialty colors for certain eye colors? We actually have palettes on the site. So if you have blue eyes, green eye, brown eyes on the site, if you click on palettes, um, there's nine wall palettes that are customized for that eye color. So we do have those now um, if you want to check that out too. So Yay. So what are you guys doing today? I feel like this week has been so freaking crazy, especially here in the U.S. with like all of the election stuff and COVID's taking off and holidays are most, you know, coming. So we're going to start like prepping for that. So are you guys resting today? Oh, <laughs> oh, Andy, I read your comment. Hang in there. Yep. I know. She's like, maybe they'll stay up, girl. I feel you. <laughs> When you drop your brushes, will it be full face and eyeliner? We're going to start with just face ones, and then the eye brushes will come out right after. So that's the plan. So, yeah, I'm just I'm ready to have a, have a calm, hopefully, rest of 2020. That's what we're hoping. <laughs> Sarah's enjoying 75-degree weather. Where are you at, Sarah? I'm going to come visit you. 75 degrees? Please send it my way. <laughs> Kendi's asking any sort of Black Friday sale. Yes. So we have a sale going up on Black Friday and then it goes through Monday. So we're going to announce that I think this week. So yes, <laughs> Gabby's in bed rest, resting while my kids are taking a nap. I know. 
and you got to when your kids are napping it's like now's the time for mama to get her rest in <laughs> or a drink I'm not judging <laughs> meal prep and cleaning the house all right all right everyone's having a chill weekend um so anyways I, I hope this was helpful for you guys I love hanging out with all of you let me know what you want to see next week we'll do make, make a bingo um and then the calming tutorials and some other um tutorials are coming to you oh and I think I'm gonna do vlogmas this year I've never done it before because I I feel weird is it weird that I do vlogmas that I'm not really technically an influencer and then I'm 40 does that matter I really want to do it because it's my daughter's, it's Adelina's first Christmas. So I want to document everything. And we have a lot of stuff planned, like fun stuff that like my husband's never, we haven't gotten a real tree before. Um, we're going to go look at Christmas lights, like driving around and stuff. So we have a lot of stuff planned I'm really excited about. So I think I'm going to do Vlogma this year. Wish me luck. So yeah, hoping, hope, hope everyone's interested in watching it because I got to document my daughter's first Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, all right. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Love and miss you guys a lot. And I'll see you uh, next Sunday, same time at noon Pacific time. So bye, you guys.